In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these acorns. They're one of two different acorn styles that I designed for my acorns and oak leaves pattern set, and I thought it would be fun to make a video showing how I make them for those of you who purchased the pattern, and even if you didn't, you can follow along with this as well. So what you'll need is Malabrigo worsted yarn in lettuce, and Malabrigo worsted yarn in the color praline, a three and a half millimeter sized crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. The first thing we'll do is get started on the body of the acorn. So using your green yarn, make a slip knot and chain four. Next, you will Insert your hook into the first stitch and slip stitch those together to form a ring. And then chain one and single crochet into the ring eight stitches. After you've single crocheted eight into the ring, you'll get back around to the beginning and single crochet one into that first stitch and every stitch around until you have single crocheted eight into each for four rounds. Usually when I crochet in the round continuously, I will use a stitch marker, but since this project is so small, I actually just count it to eight in my head. And then when I get to the end, or where I think is the end, I count the top of the stitches and see that I have four. Before beginning to close up the acorn, I like to flip it right side out so that the side with less ridges is visible on the outside. Using the crochet hook, pull that yarn end through the top of the acorn to get it out of the way. And then get the yarn back onto the hook and start decreasing. The first round is done by single crocheting two and then single crocheting two together. And continuing that around four times. And then on the next round, single crochet one and then single crochet two together, a total of four times until you get back to the beginning of the round. And then after that last stitch, pull the yarn through and give yourself enough of a tail to use the tapestry needle to weave in that end. And now set that aside so we can get started on the cap. First thing you'll do is make a slip knot and chain three. Next you'll slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. And then chain one and single crochet four into that ring. And then being sure to count those four stitches, slip your hook into the first stitch and single crochet two into that one into the other three. So you have a total of eight stitches at the end of this round. And then in the next round, you will single crochet one and then in the next stitch, single crochet two. And just continue doing that around until you have 12. And again, how I do this and keep track is just counting in my head, doing my best 
to keep track and make sure that I have 12 at the end. And then in this next round, you will just single crochet one into each stitch around and you'll have 12 stitches total at the end of that round. And you'll notice that I don't flip this one right side out. I actually want those ridges to show so that it kind of resembles the top of an acorn. And then at the end of this one, you want to make sure that you really pull a long tail because this yarn end is going to be used to attach the acorn top to the body of the acorn. Now the very last piece to make is the easiest and that's the stem. And you just make a slip knot and then chain five. And go back down that chain slip stitching four. So now we finally get to start putting all these acorn pieces together. First thing to do is secure that acorn bottom. And using that yarn end, just go through those bottom stitches and then back into the inside of the acorn and kind of pull it tight so that it makes a nice closed up bottom. And then weave the yarn through a few of those stitches to make sure that this yarn end is secure and that Bottom of the acorn isn't going to come unraveled. Once you feel like it's secure, push the yarn end through the top and then using the crochet hook, insert it into the side of the acorn and kind of fold up the yarn ends because we're going to use it as stuffing for this acorn. And just using the crochet hook, pull it through and just get it into there. Now to make the acorn top, the first thing you do is pull that center yarn end down through the acorn and pull it a little bit so that the knotted part goes inside of the top and it looks a little more rounded and perfect and then reinsert the crochet hook and get both of those yarn ends of the stem and pull that through the top of the acorn top. To secure the stem to the acorn top, I tie those yarn ends together. So I make sure that I have that one yarn end that's attached to the top of the acorn top and then one of the two that's attached to the stem. Make two knots in each, well, in that first one, and then I switch it to one that hasn't been tied and then do that again. And that makes it nice and secure. Now insert that crochet hook through the side of the acorn and up through the top and pull the three center yarn ends down into the acorn. Now using the long tail that's at the side of the acorn top, start to attach that acorn top. Make sure that the top is positioned exactly where you'd like it and hold those two together and then insert it into the spot next to where it's coming out of so that it, it looks like it kind of blends in well and then go exactly opposite and then insert it 
into the one next to it so that it's pretty inconspicuous and again go opposite to that and then just kind of go around doing that same thing until you feel like it's completely secure. I kind of stop along the way and maybe like pull up the acorn top and give it a feel and see where it might be a little um, still not attached like I did there. And now you can see why it's so important to leave that long tail. You do need quite a bit of yarn to go back and forth and make sure that that top is nice and secure. So once it's done, just trim off that yarn end and then trim these off. And sometimes they, they kind of poke through, so I use my crochet hook to push that yarn back into it. And then shimmy it around a little bit to get it shaped. So now it is all done. And now you too can have piles and bowls of acorns. And if you'd like to know how I made this garland, you can watch this video to learn how I did that. If you'd like to see the full pattern set that includes these acorns, you can find that on my website. Thank you for watching.